Okay, I'm back. I'm also starting to think... Was the dual scimitar the one that has a spirit move I really hate? Yes, we don't want to use that. I hate that little jumpy move. Okay. No thank you to dual scimitar. Well, halberds... A chill... We've kind of been using them. The big axe is really the one that I'm like the most whatever, but let's see if there's a... Let's see what Halberd, Halberd, just regular Halberd is like. It's on the slower end. I love the way it like moves forward. And its spirit attack seems cool. Oh yeah, that silly move. Okay. I got a big slam on this one. Okay. Let's mess around with a halberd. Oh, hey, demons. I think I'm supposed to kill you all. To help somebody. Rude. Ow. Oh my god, there's just so many! If I can get, like, the combo started, that move hitting everywhere around me is really good. Dude, summon him. Hey, big guy. Messed up. Excuse me. do that sequence before? What the heck? Like this weapon would be better with like a really quick other weapon, you know? Like really quick. So you can go like into it really quick and then just get into there to start your combos going when something's already a little bit staggered or whatever. Secret items around, not really. Okay. Whomst am I fighting? A bunch of guys! Oh! 
Mess him up, unicorn! from that one level. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, I really need to finish this monkey off, please. Oh my god. Thank you, monkey. seen you since you were a giant boss that was really hard to kill. too early on so many fairies. Definitely much stronger than last time I fought this thing, because I'm not just dead like four times. Pretty close to it though. Ooh! Oh, please die, bud. bit lucky. I got a little bit lucky. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yikes. Hey man. You're welcome. I don't remember the first time I did, but you're welcome. Select another battlefield. All right, what's next? Realm of Battle. An air of menace. <laughs> okay, I have to defeat all my enemies to survive. You got it, game. It's so weird that so many uh, side missions opened up between, like, I just did two missions, and then, like, everything opened up when there was only one before. Maybe we should be doing, like, an entire chapter of main missions, and then all the side stuff? If they're gonna unlock a whole bunch of it whenever you, like, finish a chapter? Oh, is this gonna be another, basically, like, one boss fight mission? No, it can't be. 
There's two flags. Weird. All right, let's just go back to our regular weapon for the moment, though. Oh! No. Regular weapon for the moment. Sword is good. We ranked it up. Level sort of tripping me out. Because this was a boss arena the first time. Oh, hey, guys. Way too early. Ow. Okay. So I guess the mission was raise this battle flag? Weird. You almost knocked an entire full bottle of whiskey on the floor? Oh my god. I'm glad you didn't. That would have fucking sucked. Both for the cleanup and for the fucking waste of all that whiskey. Oh my god. I need to go buy some alcohol. I haven't in had any alcohol in the house basically since my birthday. Though on my birthday, I, I did end up having a like... What was it? Peach cider? That a co-worker got for me that was really good. I can't remember the brand name now. Uh, green plum warm liquor. Speaking of, speaking of alcohol, the mission is is about liquor. Yum yum. These side missions are going fucking crazy fast though. They're all just like one fight. Need a little booze to loosen up my parry finger, maybe. Maybe maybe it's. That I am, I'm too sober right now. I'm so sober that my reaction times are too good. I keep parrying everything early. What do I know of a true dragon? Oh, hey, Cow Cow, we gotta fight? I'm willing to fight you. You might be a general, but I'm gonna fuck you up! Oh, you're fire? Okay. Well, if I lose, I'm gonna change a few things, sir. distraction somehow that worked in my favor for a moment there parrying his man thank you for the raid give me just a moment for those of you who don't know that were already in my chat Dennis LA is a fucking amazing dude wonderful streamer and like captain I guess I will say Woo! don't die don't die don't die 
captain of the Unified Streamers stream group, which I am a proud member of. Woo! It was Bruce Wayne that raided me? I'm sorry, Bruce Wayne Brady, co-captain of the Unified Streamers. Both of them are amazing, fucking awesome people. Hi, Bruce Wayne Brady. Sorry, I saw Dennis and I was so focused on this fucking fight that I super mistook. Let me give a couple shout outs really quick. Bruce Wayne Brady. Everybody, go give Bruce Wayne Brady a little bit of love if you haven't. Give Dennis L.A. a little bit of love as well. They are both wonderful, awesome people. Co-streaming people. Also streaming people. You know what I'm trying to say. And in just a moment, I'm going to switch to my big face and give everybody a proper hello. Not many possess the power to reestablish order in the land. Yes. Thank you, Kao Kao. I know I'm pronouncing all the fucking names in this game wrong. I apologize if anyone out there uh, speaks Chinese and knows how bad I am at it. And I'm going to swap back over here. We only have one more side mission I'm planning to do today. Because we've been going about three and a half hours and I need to make some dinner in a little bit here. Uh, but let's do Zhao Yun's Exile. This little side quest here. During his conflict against Yuan Shao. God, I'm saying all these names so wrong. Gong Sung Zan took revenge on the wise minister of wars, reclaimed the elixir. The elixir, if anyone's played Neo, elixir is basically just the spirit stone. Uh, evil corrupting force. Hmm. But this game, instead of taking place in feudal Japan, is taking place in uh, Three Kingdoms era China. So, you know, right, right around the time of the Yellow Turban Rebellion and all that stuff. Uh, and Lu Bu is an incredible boss fight. Probably the best boss fight I've had so far in this game is Lubu. Oh my god, that fight is so good. And Lubu is still alive, so hopefully I get to fight him again at some point. <laughs> anyway, how's everyone else doing? What were you playing today, Bruce Wayne Brady? Alright, must be destiny to reunite. Oh, this is the dude from, like, the first level. Okay. Did you know? You beat the FF7 DLC today? Hell yeah. Did you beat the, um... Did you do that, like, fucking crazy-ass wizard? That I saw you do, like the... It seems like it was a side... Side mission or something with that, like, super wizard that was just... Insane looking. You did beat that dude? Hell yeah. That thing... Rama. Yes, yes. Oh no, you didn't beat him? Oh. Uh, are you gonna go back for it? Because that thing looked nuts. I... I will admit, I'm not a giant Final Fantasy person. I, I knew that uh, Final Fantasy VII was a little more action-y. But seeing, seeing that fight that you tried to do against that guy, he would have made the last boss easier because if you beat him, you can summon him? Jesus. Okay. Um, yeah, seeing you fight that made me go like, oh, this is substantially more action game than I had thought it would be. But then it... I remember when I saw you fighting him, it looked like he did a move that was, uh... completely undodgeable and everything, and, like, kind of bullshit, frankly. <laughs> but it's an RPG, you know. If you played those old RPGs... Uh... I wouldn't exactly say that dodging was a big part of those games, right? Usually you had a stat check, not a, how do I dodge this thing? <laughs> oh, there's another wizard? What the heck? 
secondary wizard. Get out of here. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> Oops. You were getting him down to the last phase consistently and he just wasn't having it. Damn. Well, at least it seems like you had fun playing that game. A few times I saw you doing it, uh, you looked like you were having an excellent time, so... And then you started Final Fantasy 13. Is that the, um... What is it, Lightning? Is that right? I remember hearing very... Whoa, hey bud. I remember hearing very mixed stuff about... That is the one with Lightning? Okay. I remember hearing very mixed stuff about that one then. But again, I'm not really a Final Fantasy person, so... I don't have a great frame of reference for it, you know? Okay, bud. You, for some reason, are just doing so much more damage. Got our stuff back. Thank you. It is very weird that these side missions in Chapter 4 have been bringing us back to, like, uh, way earlier levels. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Also, this has, like, white stuff on it, so can I break it somehow? And if so, how? I can't break that one. Okay, maybe it's just white because it used to be somewhere you could go. I'm not going to worry about it too much. You had it in your Steam backlog for, like, a year... And you were enjoying it? I see. I have been doing a very bad, bad job of getting into my Steam backlog at all. Like, honestly, lately I've been kind of... And this isn't... Uh, nobody needs to feel bad about me saying this or anything, but like, I've been kind of burned out on video games in general lately. I know, here I am streaming, playing games. Like, I've been very excited to play this game. I'm not like, I'm over games now, or some shit, but I have very, very, very rarely been turning on a video game when I'm not streaming lately. Just like, no matter what, I'm just like turning on, you know, Netflix or something instead. Been watching a lot of YouTube videos. You've been watching more stuff than playing? Yeah. And and that's not because I think, like, there are no good games coming out right now. Like, I'm really having fun with this game. If, if I wasn't streaming this game, honestly, I might be playing it more. But... I just... Uh, I... <laughs> Like, I used to, you know, turn on Rocket League or something to, like, chill out a little bit, and I just don't really do that anymore. Lately. And I know part of it is also just because I get home and I don't feel like I have time to get into a lot of stuff. Even marathoning Star Trek? Hmm. I... I'm kind of between stuff to marathon right now. I didn't start another show yet. But that was because I was kind of like cleaning up a bunch of stuff that I got halfway through like a year ago. So I finished watching... Um, 
Oh god, what was it called? It was really bad. I don't even know why I finished it. Chat, what's wrong with me? I can't remember what it's called anymore. Oh my god. Been watching movies all weekend. I watched um I watched a movie this week. I watched the Puss in Boots, that new Puss in Boots movie. That's right, I watched a kid's movie. What? <laughs> you go in waves too? Yeah, I think it's a wave thing. I've definitely gone in waves with stuff. Um, But I watched that new Puss in Boots movie, and it was actually very good. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I, like, hadn't watched a... Oh, Two Tigers? Okay. I hadn't watched, like, any Shrek stuff basically since, like, Shrek 2, maybe. But that new Puss in Boots movie is, is quite good. I parried way too early. Sir, sir, thank you. Oh, ow. Too many tigers. Oh god, now we got a bird thing? Ah, oh, jeez. Heck! Heck! Me out! No, that didn't work. Oh my god! Oh my god! Friend! I'm sorry I can't pick you up! I also can't parry any of this! It's too much! Ah! Okay. We got the important parry. Sorry, chat. I have a feeling you're saying stuff, but I just need to focus for half a moment here. Oh my god, can you stop just jumping into the air constantly? Close for comfort. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what you were trying to say there, uh, Bogue Time. Just don't, damn it, hell yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we got there. Okay. Well, that went well. You don't expect me to look at chat while playing this game. Look, when you guys raided and I looked over at chat, it helped me, okay? But sometimes it's a little too intense. Mm. Oh my god. Well, that was the last mission I was going to do today. So I'm going to look at chat while we... Um, just do a little cleanup in here. Go talk to the cicada guy again. I don't know if I actually got anything for the people. She got a new tablet. Okay. Yes, you're welcome. I know. You like reading stuff. 
Okay, nothing new. One was just stupid auto correction. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> and the other one's responding to shit five minutes ago. Fair. Uh, but yes, yes, yes. Um. Chat, I don't think feeding this guy golden cicadas has been a good thing. He, um, seems like he's just going crazy. Anyway, I haven't watched anything Shrek related in a very long time, but Last Wish is really good. Um, I really, I don't think this is a spoiler because it's so early in the movie that you like meet them. But Goldilocks and the, the three bears are so fucking good in that movie. They are incredible. All you know is people blowing up at the villain. Yeah, yeah. It's... It is done really well just also because they took, they took the... 3D animation stuff and put a like really awesome level of like 2D effects animation on top of it in a lot of places that just looks really good and the the like wolf uh, villain does just use that stuff super good and look incredible while doing it um, but it also, you know, for a kid's movie, it's got a lot of heart. It does the, it does the, like, having a message stuff really well. It's a fun movie. Um, I'm still going crazy that I can't remember what show I, like, binged my way through recently. Because I'd, like, watched the first few episodes of it or something, and then just, like, didn't watch any of it for months before finally going back and being like, okay, I'm gonna finish this up. I think it was, um... I'm trying to think of what it was on. Oh, it was Euphoria. It was Euphoria. It was... I had to remember what service it was on to remember what it was. Um... I had watched, like, the first season with with somebody, and, yeah, it, it was not an easy binge. I didn't turn it into a binge, but I had watched the first season with somebody, or, like, most of the first season with somebody, and, uh, so I just never got around to finishing up, because it was like, I'm gonna watch it with them, right? And, uh, long story short, I don't think I'm gonna fucking watch anything with them anymore. Just with the way that life has seemed to, uh, stretch us apart from each other, I will say. Um, which isn't, like, great. I feel bad about that, but it was like, I'm just gonna go finish this. It's kind of how it went. Um... And so, over the course of, like, a week and a half, maybe, it was probably more like six days, I watched, like, the first couple episodes of season two, like, in a row, and then, and then season two just goes so fucking dark. It was just like, I need to, <laughs> I need to not binge this, because holy shit, uh, stuff is getting nuts. All right. I'm going to get this level up. Boom. Do we have any more side missions? I don't think we do. Part four? If we do have more side missions. What the fuck? I was trying to finish all the part four side missions here. The unparalleled spear exists now. Where did that come from? Why does part four just have... So many levels in it. Alright, we got another level to do. We're finishing part four today, dang it. And then I'm gonna say saying goodbye and dealing with my dinner. But yeah, um Euphoria is fucking dark, y'all. 
I I don't super like I think it's pretty well done in a lot of cases, but like I don't know that I enjoyed watching it. It just seemed well done enough to follow through with, right? And then I watched um I was watching them as they came out, so it definitely wasn't a binge thing, but I watched The Last of Us show, which, frankly, ow. What the fuck? Okay, this guy is stone. Uh, wood beats stone, I think? Right? Because stone beats water, water beats fire, fire beats metal. Metal chops wood. So yes, wood beats stone. Okay. Uh, but The Last of Us show was pretty good. I I knew, like, all the broad strokes. Because I've never played the game, right? I knew all the broad strokes about it, but... Didn't really know... Um, didn't really know a lot of the details. Like, even the, the early thing of, like, what happens to Joel's daughter... Like, I knew she died and everything. I didn't realize that it wasn't the pandemic thing that gets her. Uh, it's way fucking worse. But all that backlash about, uh, uh, fuck, what's her name? Be Bella. Bella Ramsey was not deserved at all. She was so fucking good as Ellie in that show. Okay, that move is so much slower than I think. Wow, this guy can really just get to me. Okay, Zhao Yun. You seem way harder than uh, Cow Cow was. But yeah, Bella Ramsey was fucking excellent. Anybody that was, like, giving her shit early on, I remember seeing a bunch of, like, backlash about her being in the show and like, oh, she doesn't look like Ellie enough or something. It's just like, fuck that. She was so good. There we go. Now we're getting him. Okay, I made a bad move. Oh, fuck me. Woo! Okay, I know I had a chance to stab him there. I really wanted to make sure I got the heal off. I keep thinking the spin on that one is part of the attack, but it isn't. Gets me every time. My man! Oh god! Okay. Good. Stabilize. Ow, ow, ow. Just gonna hang out in the heal zone if you don't mind. You thought Bella Ramsey was fantastic? Yeah. Yeah, she's... F she was fucking fantastic. 
She embodies the spirit of the character perfectly. Yeah. I know the games are some of your favorites ever. I do know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, the thing, like, I have nothing against The Last of Us. I, the main reason I didn't play them was because I'm a PC gamer. I don't have a PlayStation. Um, and I definitely did see, ooh, my bonds with Quillen are better now. Hell yeah. I, I saw a few things that, um, talked about some of the changes being questionable in the show. Um, which I kind of understand some of the arguments that were being made. But I think the show did a really good job, and frankly, the pieces of the show that I thought were the most interesting were the places where it did, like, wildly divert in ways that I didn't know about, right? Um, like, one of, the, one of the scenes, I think, in the show that was maybe the most powerful and, like, crazy and, like, really well done was actually the, um, is it episode two? Hang on, let me, <clears throat> let me make sure the game saves. And then I'm going to do an outro here, because we're done for today. Title screen. And that means I can move on to my good mic and stop, like, accidentally semi-clipping. Because this game doesn't play well with my microphone. Grumble, grumble. Go up. Hi, everybody. Big face. Okay. <clears throat> Let me move my good mic over. Hey, back on the good mic. Hi, everybody. Mm. So, the piece I was the most... Wow. Hey, throat. Like, one of the most powerful scenes to me was the... Um, I want to say beginning of episode two where it's like pre pre uh infection and they like get the the like mushroom uh scientist lady in like Indonesia or whatever uh to to kind of show like the very beginnings of this this thing getting found out about and that like that whole sequence of her talking to the like, military dude or whatever, saying, like, how there's no cure, you should bomb the entire city. And, like, the, the, the way that actress, like, quivers in her voice and stuff, like, that scene was so fucking good. Um, not to say there weren't, like, really good things with the main cast either, but, like, that was, to me, one of the things that are, like, I know the game is focused on... Ellie and Joel and doesn't really separate from them. You're not you're not getting some of those other weird like kind of small side things, but like some of the ways that those built out the world, I thought were some of the most powerful scenes in the show in in ways that were kind of incredible. Um since they're not confined to the player character's perspective, like, in the game, they can branch out to show other events, yeah. And I just I just think that, like, a few of those other smaller moments they decided to show were some of the more incredible or more interesting moments in the show. Because, <clears throat> yes, there there is a lot there with Joel and Ellie also, but in some ways, I had, and this might seem a little weird, in some ways, I almost feel like this show did a disservice to the Joel-Ellie relationship near the end. And by that, I mean... Bella Ramsey is fucking incredible, right? <clears throat> Pedro Pascal, also really fucking good. And I think the early parts of the show did a really good job of letting them be guarded and open up to each other. But it sort of felt like they needed another episode or two at the end between uh, 
between the like winter Ellie focused stuff and like the trauma she goes through there. Um, and the last episode, Joel's big decision. Because that, that like, <clears throat> that last episode felt like it was in some ways sort of skipping a, a big piece of like, I guess the, the, ramifications of both what happened to Ellie and also the obvious big like daughter connection that Joel was making and it felt like they kind of skipped over and glossed over like letting them breathe into that relationship a little bit before the end sequence of the of the first game and of the the show here the first season of the show that I, I felt was like kind of the game does. That's something the game does better. Yeah. You have 20 hours of going through shit with her. Totally. Totally. And, and it, I don't think that it, like it was bad, but that was like the one piece of the show that I, I felt was like the weakest because it was really just like, I, I needed, I needed not 20 minutes of them seeing the draft and like connecting i needed an entire episode of them you know getting through the rest of winter and reconnecting and you know she fucking takes care of joel in a way that lord knows he wasn't wanting and like their relationship changes in such a profound way through like episode eight basically that i feel like just gets really rapidly just like they they spent three months getting the rest of the way here and you see none of it in a way that i felt was a little disappointing but overall like that that show is really well done